Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you, today I'm going to show you how to make a free website using Google Sites. First you want to go to this link. I will put it, I'll put the link in the description to everything that we are going to be on today. So after you get to the uh, site, uh, the uh, link that I put in the description Google Sites you won't see any of this but you can choose a blank site or you can go through these templates by clicking template gallery you can see has them all sorted for you here or you can make your own blank site which is what we're gonna do for tutorial as you can see you have a very simple layout First, we're going to start off going over everything that is in your tool area. Right now, we're on our insert page. We also have pages and themes. We're going to go over the insert area, which is what is already on by default. Here, you can find your text box, in, uh, your text box, your images your embed and your drive you've also got your content blocks and if you scroll down you've got your collapsible groups table of contents image that button divider your spacer your social links your placeholder and your YouTube calendar your maps your Google Docs your slides Google Sheets, your Google Forms, and your Google Charts. First, we're going to go, I mean, <clears throat> my bad. Now we're going to go over to Pages. This is where you can add different pages. Themes, this is where you can add different themes for your site. Now we're going to go over your first, your home page. First, you got where your title can go. You've got your header that you can customize. You can choose an image for the background. You can also choose your header type. You can also see you can enter your site name here. You can also add a site logo. Up here you've got your test button to preview it, share with others, your site settings, and more. You've also got your link to your site, but you can't get to it until you publish it, which we'll get to. Now I'm going to show you how to use all these tools. Your text box, press on that. It spawns in a text box on your page here. You can put in anything. You can also change the text color. You can also change, uh, have an underline. You can also turn on bold. And you can also insert a link and emoji. And you can also change your um, fonts as well. Your page title, by clicking on here, you can change the title. You can, again, you can change your font, your color, and all that stuff. Down here, you can add a footer. <laughs> 
images, you can insert an image by clicking on it and pressing upload or select. We're going to do upload and then upload an image from either your OneDrive or your Google Drive or a file that you have on your computer. Embed. This is so you can embed like a form or something. Like here, I'll demonstrate it. If you've made Google a Google form, let's see, let's go to this one. And then you, you get a form, then you go over to send, and you press the embed. You can also do this on other things that you've made with Google, like Docs and stuff, I think, also. Then you want to press copy, then go to your site, press the embed button, go to embedded code, paste it, press next, insert, and then you inserted like a test or a form or an account sign up or something like that, whatever you make. And they are actually able to take the test and fill that out. Drive. This is where you can insert things from your Google Drive. Let's just do this old YouTube video that I made. Press insert. And then now people can watch your video from your website. Or maybe you didn't post this on YouTube. Maybe it's just a video that they can only get to from this website. Your content blocks, very self-explanatory, just blocks of content. You can add a picture and text to it and links as well. I don't got any images in my OneDrive. I only got the images on my uh, thing. Here we go. You've got all this fancy stuff here. But we don't got any room on this page. So we need to add another page. By going up here to Pages, going down here and pressing New Page. You can also name your new page. Then it'll pop up either here or over here. It depends on what you change it into settings, which I'll go over here in a little bit button these are very useful there are buttons that you can put into your site that if you press them they send you to a different website or any type of link that you put in there to a discord or anything like that so we're just gonna say hmm Let's put a fake link in there. There, it's a fake, fake link. And then when they press on that, it'll take you to your Discord. But you gotta actually put the real link in there by copying it and pasting it into there. You've also got your social links, which also can be Discord, blah, 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 and then inserting it, and then bam. You can get to the channel or a YouTube channel. If we put YouTube channel link in there, um, it'll pop up there like that. YouTube. This will take stuff from a YouTube channel and add it to your site. Click on it and press insert. Just like that. Placeholder. It can be an image. I don't got any photos on here. Why does it keep taking me to that? Here we go. I keep pressing the wrong thing. And it can be like an image, but you can make it into a 
button by inserting a link. Like I can make it take this button will take you back to the home page now. All these is just self explanatory. You can add your form, sheets, slides, and your calendars and your map and your charts. Let's go over to themes. You can either upload a theme, I mean import a theme, my bad, or make a custom one. Or you can choose from one of these. It also can change your font, the colors of your site, and all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to create your own, choose one of these color templates or make your own colors. You can choose your fonts for your titles and headings and your body text. Press create all my, that's ugly. That is, that is horrible. That is bad. That's... Oh my, I don't like that. Oh no. Hold up, I'm getting ready to that. Mm-mm. There we go, that's better. And that, oh, shoot, my bad. Settings. Up here, press that button right there. Navigation, this is what I'm talking about where you can script through your pages. If you press si side, it will go over here to where you click to get to your pages. Now, please be noted that phones and small devices will automatically have it on the side like this, but computers and big screens will automatically have it on top, but you can choose if you want it permanently make it for big screens as well. You can add a logo to your site by pressing upload, choosing a logo, Viewer tools, you can choose info icons and anchor links. You can customize these however you want. Custom domains, I've never done this before. You can do it if you want to. Analytics, you've got your analytics. I've also never done this before, which I should try to do, actually. An announcement banner this is pretty cool so first you want to press show banner choose a different color for it if you want to say like warning please sub or update your site or something and then if you can also add a button to it and then it just pops up right there like say warning check out this funny video and then I have a link to the video right here and a button something like that now how the flip do you done do done done publish publish the site? Press this big old blue button right here. Wrong button. Press publish. Rev address. Um test um Q W T F F G G D. That's it. Um who can visit my site? You can choose who can visit your site or not and you can also request public search engines to not display your site and then you press publish now your site is open and you can now get the link for it right here by copying it bada boom bada bam people can use your site I hope this video was helpful for you um, if it was please hit that like button and subscribe have an amazing goodbye